hey guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl Shay and as you guys can see in the title below we're making rice and peas now this is a staple in our Jamaican culture we eat this with everything any protein you can eat this with so if you don't know how to make it stay tuned and I'll show you how to get it done first thing you want to do is start the cooking process for your peas now I'm cooking my peas in a pressure cooker. You can cook it on the stove, but it will take a longer time. So I'm just adding four cups of water to my pressure cooker because I'm cooking a small amount of rice and peas today. Next, I'm going to add four cloves of garlic to my water. I'm just using the back of my knife to mash that garlic and release all that good flavor. Also, you need one teaspoon of salt. And as I said before, I'm making a small portion, so I'm only going to use one cup of red kidney beans. Then I'm going to set my pressure cooker to 40 minutes and allow my peas to cook. Next, I'm going to wash my rice. This is a completely optional step. You do not have to wash your rice if you don't want to, but this is something that I'm used to. Growing up in Jamaica, we always wash the rice. Okay, so after 40 minutes, that is what you want your piece to look like. It's nice and soft. The fork goes through easily. That just looks perfect. So now you want to transfer your peas from the pressure cooker to a pot. Because we had to wait for the pressure cooker to cool down before we transfer our peas, you want to wait for that pot to start bubbling again before you go ahead and add your coconut milk so I just put in half of that coconut milk then I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt some sugar about a teaspoon and sugar also is optional this is just how I do it and some thyme of course and some scallion. You wanna crush that scallion to release all that flavor. So that's what I'm doing now. And then I'm dropping that straight into the pot. And of course, we can't leave out our scotch bonnet pepper and about a teaspoon and a half of butter. And next, I'm going to just cover the pot and let it cook for about two or three minutes just to infuse the water with all of that good flavor okay then next once it's been cooking for about two minutes I'm gonna go ahead and add my rice now if you're new at cooking rice and peas it's best to have less liquid in your pot than more because you can always add more water to it but if you have too much liquid and your rice keeps cooking and cooking, it will get too soft. And you don't want that. You want to make sure your rice is nice and shelly. And this is a good example of rice and peas to liquid proportion. Now, after cooking it for a few minutes, you see your water reducing and your rice is still very hard you can go ahead and add a little bit more water to it so that's what i did there and now i'm covering and letting that reduce so see there it's nicely reduced you don't see any water on top you're gonna go ahead and cover that with some foil paper and also reduce your heat to the lowest point on your stove and just allow that to steam for another 10 minutes after 10 minutes your rice should be completely cooked 
and you just want to go in and remove some of that thyme stick that's left behind there and give that a nice stir and one quick thing I forgot to tell you guys do not let that scotch bonnet pepper pop in your pot you want to remove that before you stir and there we have it beautiful rice and peas now let me serve that up for you guys <laughs> you see that jump right there I burnt myself on the pot oh lord anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you try this at home or it turned out for you in the comment section below thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye